Hi friends, we're gonna talk a little bit about shapes today and I'm gonna help you go over your math page. So the first thing I wanna talk about is our different kinds of shapes. Remember, we have the flat shapes or two dimensional shapes and we also have our solid shapes or our 3D shapes. So let's go over these shapes together. This is a square, this is a circle, this is a hexagon, this is a triangle, this is a rectangle. So those are shapes that we're used to. And we talked a little bit about the sides of a shape, right? So these are my sides of my shape. We also talked about the corners. So remember, this and the, these are the corners right up here around my shape. And which shape has four sides that are all the same or equal length? Good, that's my square. Then I'm going to go to my three-dimensional or my solid shapes. And remember, they take up space and they're not flat. I can hold them and remember we can put stuff inside of them. They fill up space. Okay, so we have this first one is called a cylinder. Can everyone say cylinder? And I put my soup can. This is a cone, kind of like an ice cream cone. A sphere is our basketball and a cube is shaped like a birthday present. Okay, and what we're gonna talk about today is a new word and it's called a face. Not like the face that we have when we smile and we see our face, it's the face of the cube. And I'm gonna show you with my mouse, if I go like this, that's one of the faces. And what is that face shaped like? It's shaped like a square. So my faces of my cube are shaped like squares and I can also see it on my present, okay? And then we are going to go to our math page and we are going to talk a little bit more about shapes. So I'm gonna bring up our math page which again, all of our pages are now on Seesaw. So I'm going to go to my activities. I'm going to find today's math page and I can either click on the page, view original to print it out and download it, or I can click add response. Also, boys and girls, I found that these three little dots, I can edit the activity, go back and add another page. So that works for our journal prompts or our site word boards that we can go back and edit it. So for now, I'm going to click add response and it's going to bring me into Seesaw. And remember, we have our different pens and pencils, how to hold on to it. And if we decided that we were going to upload a picture, we would click add page and the camera button to upload our picture onto the blank screen. So let's go back here and talk about our direction. So it says trace around one face of the cube, use a crayon. So I'm just gonna pick one of my colors over here. Hmm, what did we just say a face was? It's shaped like a square. So watch where I trace. This is a face of my cube. Then it says to ring or circle each corner. So I'm just gonna circle one, but I want you to circle the rest. Then it asks you how many faces, how many corners, and What's the name of the shape that our face of our cube is? Is it a square, a rectangle, or a triangle? Okay, and then when I'm done, remember I'm gonna click my green check mark and it'll upload or submit my work. And I'm gonna to go to my next page and I'm going to click add response so that I can add my response back to activities. And here is my back of my page. 
And on the back, it says ring, which we know also means circle, the picture that matches the statement. So we're going to have to either pick between this or this, this or this, this or this, this or this. We're going to pick one set of the pictures that matches. And I'm going to underline the important words to help me. So I need to figure out the cube is below the sphere. So we're thinking about positional words. Is it above, below, in front, behind? So think about what those words mean. This one says the cube is in front of the cylinder. So figure out which one matches. The cube is above the cone. Where is it above? And the large cube is behind the small cube. Where does it show that? And then our challenge says describe a cube using as many descriptive words as possible. So tell me, what is a cube like? And remember, this is our cube. When we meet all together on Thursday for our math lesson, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about these 3D shapes. And I found some things around my house that look like 3D shapes that I'm going to show you to help explain them a little bit better. I want you to try your best.